All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the brakes on the Silverado. Um, overdue, we're going to change the rotors and the uh, pads on the uh, calipers. So, here we go. So before you compress your piston on your brake calipers, you want to make sure, just loosen this cap up a little bit, because um, there's going to be some fluid that's pushed back into the mass cylinder. Um, hopefully no overflow. I don't think that would be a problem, but uh, you do want to make sure that uh, you pay attention to this when you're doing a brake job. One of the things you'll find is that a lot of times these bolts get frozen up and rusted in. So we're just going to hit them with a little bit of free oil um, and any kind of a solvent um, penetrating oil will do. But that'll help get the, uh, get the uh, caliper off so we can uh, get the uh, rotors and uh, change pads. All right, so we're going to start with the slide pins and get those out. Put a cheater bar on there just to break it loose. Let's compress it. Yeah, so next we'll compress the uh, caliper pistons in so we can uh, remove the... Uh, the outer shell, if you will. So we're using a C clamp to compress the uh, pistons. Wait, is this is this on my doing this right? So we can either rest the uh, caliper on the A frame or the A arm, or uh, hang it. In this case, we'll rest it on the uh, on the A arm. Next, we'll slide the uh, old pads out. Next, we'll take the caliper mount off, assuming that's what it's called. It's like a, a guide, I think, is what it's referred to as. And probably, it helps if you take it off, if you've taken it off before. Yeah. Probably the free all helped some, too. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Now we got lucky here because a lot of times the rotors will be rusted on and you have to beat them off or you have to use these little holes here to drive a screw in. Actually this one right here, if you can see it's got threads in there um, to drive a screw in and pretty much push it off. But in this case it actually is loose so we got lucky with this. Oh shit. It is hot. <laughs> So we are going to clean these off. Um, these are slotted and uh, there's a certain direction you want to put these on, so you want to be careful. Um, we are putting Akebono pads on, which is about the only pads we'll ever use. Um, Akebono says not to clean these with brake cleaner, but um, it's just, just too much of an ingrained habit. We want to make sure these things don't have any oil from the manufacturing process on them. Now they are zinc plated, so there shouldn't be anything on there, but better safe than sorry, right? Now these are, or these do have an orientation, and I'll show you what that means in just a second here. Um, what you want to make sure is that these slots are in the direction of travel. So, as an example, if you notice, these are curved up, and um, if it travels that way, the passenger side will be the same way. Uh, they're the opposite. So, um, think of it as if this was a tire, this would be 
rolling on the ground because if it was the other way it would be uh it would be um digging uh into the ground so uh the reason for this is going to be less wear on the pads if you do if you were to put these on backwards you would really put some stress on the pads let's start putting this back together let's clean the uh the mount assembly get those slide pins or, or slides off and then uh we'll put it back on well we got one boot off let me show you how we found to get these things off. They are pressed in. And yeah, I'm using a painter's tool. And um, that will allow me to work my way around it. And it'll also, that painter's tool will get underneath of it. It's coming out. Not the easiest thing in the world, but uh, once you get it started, it's just a matter of working it out side by side. And uh, my, what does help is getting the edge, of the, getting the grip of the lip, and giving it a tap, and it comes right out. So we're going to clean this up, put some new boots in there, get some grease in, uh, fresh grease in there. Um, remove these uh, slides and then we'll uh, we'll get this thing back on all right so next we're gonna pull the old slide pins off clean everything up I'm gonna do one side at a time yeah just cleaning up whatever mess is in there Probably not necessary, but again, it never hurt. We're probably going to put some grease underneath the slides, too, just to soften any vibration points that, are, that may be present. And you want to get some, of course, in the uh, inside of the slide pin once you place it in there. What, in this? Yeah, now again the reason we're putting grease behind the uh, slides is uh it's not a contact friction point but it's more to soften any vibration should there be any potential for squealing uh this would uh this would help stop that. Thirsty diary. I was wondering why it wasn't going on. I was like, huh? We make fun of each other all the time. Now, this is a uh, definitely a slide point, so greasing it is important. This, this is an area you definitely want to grease. So now we'll put the uh, new, new um, boots back in, clean up the slide pins, get them in there, and um, start reassembling this. Slide all that mess, push everything in there. All right, so here's a trick to get these slide pins in. And uh, we'll just tap it with the hammer, or whatever you have handy. Here's the hammer. Did it in? Yeah, it's in. So that wasn't a slide pin. Sorry, that was a boot. Um, we'll go through the whole process on the other side here and show you exactly what we're doing. And what we're what we've done is uh, we've got a socket that's big enough to uh, fit the boot in, but also not too big that it doesn't grab the edge. Uh, putting a little bit of brake grease on there because uh, help uh, help put it in there. And then just slide the uh, socket over the boot.
and there it is. No fuss, no muss. Uh, otherwise, getting those things on, on are a pain in the ass because it is a press fit. But uh, now we're just going to clean the pins, put the pins back in, and uh, get this mounted. I think the type of grease is not as important as the fact that it's uh, temperature resistant because brake uh, systems do get relatively hot. We're using this uh, Primatex disc brake caliper lube. Uh, really good stuff. It's, I believe it's synthetic. Nice good coating on this is a good idea. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to pick up dust. That's what the dust boots for. Yeah, ready to go. Now the fun part. We're going to put this back on and... Oh, crap, you know what? We didn't actually uh, make a note of which way it goes. Oh my gosh. Actually, I'm kidding. Because it can only go on one way, so it's going to go on like this. Um, but we did, we did uh, sweat that one out a little bit to begin with. So let's go ahead and get that mounted. And um, we'll be uh, more than halfway done. get this started, get the bolts in there and we're torquing down. Uh, the torque specs for the mountain bracket is uh, for 2004 129 foot-pounds, for 2005 it's 133. This is a 2006, uh, we're going to torque it to 130. Beats me why Chevy would change the torque specs year to year, but it's just uh, one of those things, it's working on your own vehicles. They made the pistons bigger. I mean, the, they made the brake system bigger on the 2006. Uh, yeah. Torque wrench set to 130. It's <sighs> a lot of torque. So what we're doing is compressing the uh, the pistons on this. We've got the old brake pad in there, and uh, got a C clamp. Uh, those new pads are going to be thicker, so they're going to need a lot more room. All right, they actually are compressed all the way now, so we can take this apart and we can mount uh, the caliper. No, I gotta put the pads on first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's get the pads in there. Akebono pads, some of the best. Uh, we are gonna grease the back of the pads. Now, let me show you the difference between these two pads. So, if you uh, flip these around, on the Silverados, the one with the fat backing goes in the back. And actually, you can tell the, uh, the uh, warning spring I guess you could call it the squealer goes in the back and the uh, thinner pad goes in the front so let's go ahead and get some grease on these well, we'll put some grease on the back of these pads and also put them on oh, the put it on that put them yeah now this grease again it's a this is a brake grease it's a lot thicker than the other stuff that we were using the Permatex um, which is a uh, I prefer that because there's less chance of a brake squeal. Put some on the uh, piston. Oh yeah, that's right. Now Akebono says use their stuff or avoids the warranty, but 
Um, I don't think that's really an issue. We're putting some on the piston right now. Make sure we have a good, uh, good contact. Ah, Smack the hell out of a the camera. There's grease on the camera. It'll operate smoother now. <laughs> All right, let's get the uh, pads in. So those bolts basically go right into the slide pins. Um, what it's really doing, it's allowing the, the whole caliper system to travel um, so that, uh, you know, when you hit on the brakes, it compresses it, and when you release it, it uh, releases it, obviously. All right, so the bolts are on for the slide pins. Now it's a matter of torquing them to 27. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, 27 foot pounds. Well, now we just gotta get the wheel on and. Um, Shall we compress it first? Uh, yeah. Alright. You gotta start it up and hit the brakes a few times. Go ahead and hit it again. All right, they're compressing. So we got the brakes done, and now it's time for a quick test ride. What do you think, Jay? Oh, it's good. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Here we go. Dash cam. Well, the test run went fine. Uh, now it's just a matter of break-in. Uh, all the pad manufacturers have different break-ins. Uh, some have you do some hard or semi-hard stops. Uh, Akibono just recommends that you don't do any hard braking for the first 500 miles uh, to wear the pads in. So um, we're done, and the pads, uh, the new pads and everything look great. Uh, got good stopping power. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.